Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to add or drop a column by using graphical user interface in SQL Server. So let's go ahead and open SSMS as SQL Server Management Studio. Connect with the SQL Server instance and go to the database where your table exists. Go to tables and here I'm going to use customer sale table for this example. Let's expand the columns. So we see that we have different columns. I would like to remove age column and I would like to add a street address column to this table. We have already done the videos by using alter table statement. So you can watch that as well. But from here we will be generating the uh, alter scripts as well. So right click on the table and go to design. Once you are there, you can select the columns you would like to drop. So select this column, right click and say delete column. And now we can add a new column as well. So I'm going to add a new column called street address. This is going to be Walker 100. Watch your 100. All good. And now I can save the changes by hitting save button or I can generate the scripts. So as I'm teaching this course as a developer, so I recommend generating the scripts. So you can use those scripts in QA, UAT and production environments instead of just making the changes. So hit generate script button and then copy all those. Uh, let's copy these and take a look. So we can, uh, do you want to save this change script to the text file? If you say yes, it is gonna open a, a .sql file and you can save to the desktop or wherever you want to. You can say save. I have already copied, so I can uh, click on the new query, paste, and here are those two alter scripts. So alter table, our table name, and add and uh, it is adding a street address column and a worker 100 and it will be null. Then uh, it is having a second alter, alter table, DBO customer sale and drop column age. So these two statements uh, are generated by this uh, uh, graphical user interface. When we click on the generate script tab after making all changes uh, in the designer. So this is pretty much it. We can save from here or we can run the script. I recommend running the script so you can at least test in your dev environment and give to the DBA to run in QA and UAT and production. So you see that age is gone and we have a new column called the street address. So that's how you will add or drop a column by graphical user interface in a SQL server. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.